already talked from different angles and they shed light in different points. So I need not repeat those things. And I have to run from here. So just a few words I want to express here. I would like to extend my best wishes for the grand success of this Nepal-China Think Tank Conference 2017. And I believe this conference will be a conference of great success. It will contribute to develop and further strengthen friendly relations between our two countries. I appreciate the Chinese leadership, Chinese government and Chinese people. Because China respects sovereignty of Nepal, never interferes in its internal affairs, as Dr. Yadav mentioned, and respects our national dignity. China, I found, always positive and willing and eager to support our development endeavors. In this regard, we can work together with China. And when I got opportunity last year, when I visited China, then We signed some very important agreements which contributed to develop Nepal-China relationship in a new height. Among those, like transit and transport agreement, connectivity and cooperation. There are so many agreements on the question of connectivity and so many agreements as well as in the field of cooperation. I need not mention now or I need not repeat those agreements because already previous speakers already mentioned all these things and particularly now uh, I am in Hori and I am here to say Mangalam Bhagavan Vishnu Mangalam Garudan. Now perhaps your translator cannot translate. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> just to just to express my best wishes for the success. Uh, Prince spoke about the policies, desires, the stand and feelings of Nepal and Nepali people. That is, entire Nepal is in one view that Nepal supports one China policy. Nepal always adheres on one China policy, as Guru uh, just before mentioned about one China policy. Uh, there is no dispute. Sometimes, maybe because of carelessness or like this, a little bit confusion can arise, but there is no reason or there shouldn't be any type of confusion that Nepal always is clearly in favor of one China. This is not one party's, one government's policy, but this is Nepali policy, one China policy. <laughs> Against or which activities 
do not match with this policy. Nepal do not allow, do not tolerate. That is, Nepal doesn't allow any kind of activities against China and doesn't allow any kind of activity or use Nepal as well. Last year, I got opportunity to visit universities, to have talks in high levels with the Excellency President, Prime Minister, and I got opportunity to deliver speeches in the universities, uh, like for many universities, the Chuan University, Xi'an University, like this, and also I got opportunity to take part in Buhao Conference and Shanghai Cooperation Forum and also uh, Infrastructure Development Bank, etc. I found during my entire village, uh, visit the feeling of Chinese people, Chinese government, everywhere very friendly to Nepal and willingness to support Nepal in our development endeavors to construct our infrastructure for infrastructure development, etc. And I have not only confidence but experiences of long time that Nepal and China are to all weather real trustworthy friends and will always remain. We can work together and we can use one belt, one road or a belt and road initiation taken by the present leadership of China which can be much more beneficial for our economic development. Uh, simply, sometimes like fashion, we talk about economic development, uh, economic uh, diplomacy, economic uh, our uh, paradigm shift towards economic development, etc. <coughs> but I'm talking our talks. But we have to do something, and we can change the situation. Of course, we have promulgated the Constitution. That's a great achievement. And of course, there are problems, there are complications, but within the time or within January 22nd of 2018, before that, we will hold the election of the House of Representatives at least, which will save the country from falling into the situation of crisis, constitutional crisis and political crisis. We will do that. We are in the process of implementing the Constitution. And of course the situation uh, it is so positive but I can assure everybody that uh, Nepal is going towards a new and positive direction. And so far the question of Nepal and China friendship is it will develop, it will take a new height in the days to come. And I believe this think tank conference will contribute in this regard.
it will at least add some bricks in the process of developing this friendly relations and cooperation between our two countries. I am not talking about the relation, theoretical relation or political relation, but also uh, to develop economic and the relationship in the field of cooperation as well. And again, I would like to thank the organizers for organizing this very, very important uh, and timely conference. And in Kathmandu particularly, and I would like to again welcome you, you traveled to Kathmandu, you came here, and this joint conference was possible. Thank you very much. Thank you, everybody.